Hi everyone, Scott Smith in sunny Southern California. <laughs> Woo, she's doing a flyby. Man, we are so excited about this car. We've been talking about it for a couple years. I want to introduce the 2020 BMW X3M competition. Thank you, BMW. Oh, and the motorsport division. This is just one badass machine. Excited to talk to you guys about it today. Um, first off, car's 186 inches long, 75 inches wide, 65 inches tall. You got a curb weight of 4620. Um, and man, I can't wait to see this engine in the M3 next year. It's probably going to be about, what, six, seven hundred pounds lighter. Whew, but hey, let's get back to the badass brother right here. X3M competition. So there's been a lot of nice upgrades. The one thing that I'm so impressed with is you can have an everyday driver that you can drive right to the track. I mean, the cooling systems, the multiple radiators. Uh, the separate, uh, you know, engine oil cooler, the transmission, separate transmission cooler. I mean, we got so much stuff on here so that you can just drive this to the track, have a blast, and then go to work. <laughs> so that's one thing with BMW, the well-rounded M-Series Motorsport Division car is set up to have a blast, to take you to the limits, obviously in controlled settings, please. Um, and even this M X-Drive intelligent all-wheel drive system that we have on this vehicle. We've got some amazing settings so that you can even have this car set up more for a drift mode or a controlled drift mode is what BMW wants me to say. Um, so always look at your conditions, don't drive past your limitations, and always think safety first. But this car with this all-wheel drive, we definitely want a rear-wheel biased type of setup because we know the benefits of that, obviously, from racing heritage and everything else. But then you have that amazing traction dealing with the M X Drive intelligent all-wheel drive system on here. And that's been taken to the next level. I know Lauren's going to mention a few things about this S58 engine we have. We are extremely excited for it. Um, so let's see, we got clearance of eight inches. You've got uh, cargo room in the back, seats up. You're looking at 28 cubic feet of storage. Drop the seats and you are going to have 62 total cubic feet of storage back there. So one thing is great is you can have an everyday SAV, sports activity vehicle for just about anything you wanna do. And then you can head up with your buddies, other BMW drivers and head to the track and uh, pass them or um, have them follow you on the track, or you can stay right on their tail in this car. So that's one thing about the versatility of this M vehicle is amazing. I mean, it's made for just about any situation. Now, obviously the tires we have on here are non-run flats. Let's get a little closer look. And this is gonna be your Style 765M. These are 21 inch by nine and a half up front. 21 inch by 10 inch in the rear you've got 255 series high performance tires on the front and you've got 265 series on the back you got your M compound brakes in beautiful blue and you've got a 15.6 inch rotor up front and a 14.6 inch rotor in the back you've got a four piston fixed caliper up front and you got a single piston floating in the back And the one thing that I have mentioned in a few of the videos in the past is I'm so impressed with the design team of BMW. The angles, the curves, the flow from the front to the back, just amazing. Um, I just sat and looked at this car for probably 30 minutes, just checking out every angle, every curve, every detail. And the one thing that I've seen is you really start to compare that to other vehicles on the road. And you can see where other manufacturers have taken shortcuts on design. Just even the slight variation, just to give you a nice shadow here, a nice curve there. I mean, they have spared no mind power to not design this car with some serious attitude. Even the standard model is phenomenal, and I've been with them for a long time. And it's just so much detail that they put into it. And I think that's what really makes them, in my opinion, one of the best looking vehicles on the road, especially when you're talking about a full M car like this. I mean, every little detail, every material that they use. Also, I want to give you another fact about the uh, Spartanburg plant in South Carolina. Do you know they employ 11,000 employees? It's the largest plant that BMW has on the planet. 
And they have 300 suppliers around the country that supply that plant. So if you're definitely proud of America, want to get American built products, definitely look at BMW's X line. Anywhere from our X1 to our X7. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and introduce Lauren. Well, let's do a let's do a rev time. I know I'm getting getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Wow, very, very nice. All right, let's get Lauren out of the car here, our BMW genius at Rust Snack BMW. Show us this power plant. Hey, Lauren. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Doing great. So wow. Under the hood here, we have an S58 engine. Um, it's a three liter, six cylinder, uh, twin power turbo making four, 503 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. This same engine is also going to go into the upcoming uh, M3 and M4, so it's going to be a lot of power in a tiny car. Yes, we are very excited. And the 0 to 60 is 4 seconds four rated seconds. from BMW. Yeah. yeah, 4 seconds on this car. Now the non-competition package has 473 horsepower. It'll come standard with a 20-inch wheel, whereas the competition comes with the 21. And then the torque is the same at 442, but it's 473, and that's rated at 4.10 to 60. It's insane. And this, track, this car is X-Drive, so a lot of things in this car are built to be track ready. There's like a ton of intercoolers, a cooler for the transmission, cooler for the radiator. I know, so we have three radiators in here. You have the main component and two smaller radiators. I yeah. mean, this car is definitely made for a day at the track, and then go ahead and drive to work. <laughs> Tell everybody about it. Everything in efficient, that's what your M1 is for, and the other two is for, you know, Sport Plus, all the drifting things you want to do on the track. You can totally do it. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and go to the back seat. Let's show them the leg room, some of the features they've done back there. And Lauren is, what, 5'7 without heels? Yeah, I'm about 5'8 without heels. Oh, 5'8, okay. Yeah. okay. So now, what's nice, one neat feature they did add to the X3 is they did bring in the reclining seat feature. And that's standard on all models, the X3. So you've got a good layer. You can really kick back, relax, take a nap if you need to, or sit up more straight for better posture, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the design on the doors. And this is our black Alcantara Merino leather in this car, which it's what it comes with. So you've got our top of the line Merino leather. Really nice, soft, supple. And then you can see there's your manual sunshade for both sides. And then Lauren, you had this uh, front seat set up the way where you were comfortable. And yeah. you can see obviously everyone that there's plenty of leg room back yeah. here. When we did bring out this new generation X3 in 2018, they added a couple extra inches of leg, uh, I say overall inches to the car, which obviously everything kind of grew. And also our moonroof grew almost 10 inches longer. So you can see here, you got a lot of cool natural light you can get in here. It's awesome to drive through the canyons and forests and things like that because it's just like an extension of a giant windshield. So mm -hmm. sitting in the back seat, it's really nice. Let me go over to the other side really quick, Lauren, while you're staying there. Hold on. This way she can explain because they did a really nice job on the upgrade. You can just show them the features here on the air conditioning system in the back. Yeah, so if you're going to be sitting in the back of this car, you can still control your own climate here like in a regular X3. And the nice thing, and you can see this as either a positive or a negative. Some people say that for competition, the uh, stiffness of the suspension, it's actually not a very hard ride, which like I said, you can either think of as a good or bad thing, but like I said, it's versatile. So even with the suspension in Sport Plus, the ride is still not as harsh as you would think it would be. Just personal. And the customizing, yeah, yeah, and the customizing of it. I mean, we know that most of these probably won't go on a track, but someone wants the highest performance possible and the exclusivity of a full M in a sports activity vehicle. So let's go ahead and pull down that rear seat. So you got, you can see here we've got, it's a little fresh, huh? Yeah, get that thing to open up. <laughs> That's a, it's tight, huh? Our, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, for dropping. I did. We'll show them the cup holders, but it's nice. And obviously, we've had this for years, um, where you can drop down the seats. Just wanted to show you, almost flat, slight angle there. But definitely, we'll show you the cargo space from the back. Let's swing that up, mm -hmm. and then you can pull down that. Pull down a cup yeah, holder. Yeah, the cup holder. Yank <laughs> on it. Sick. See if that guy will come out, cause he's there. And 
No, it's fresh. There yeah. we go. All right. Obviously, make sure you can... nothing falls out while you're, you know, driving <laughs> 120 miles an hour. Yeah, they want to make sure that thing stays yeah. up. <laughs> because no cup holders originally in BMW, you know? Yeah, one thing. Or hide them. That's the right. one thing. Keep that philosophy. We've got to hide the cup holders. And obviously, you've got spaces in the side doors and everything for more water bottles. In case there is three people in the back, you've got a place to put a couple drinks. And this one is the Black Sapphire Metallic. One thing that I personally love, I mean, let us know what your favorite X3M color is in the comments. Yeah. But I personally love this color. I also love the Donington Gray, which is very specific to the M cars. I absolutely love how muscular and just overall, like, the shape of the car is just amazing, especially in Donington Gray. Yeah. Uh, it just it's such broad lines on the car. I mean, I love the fact that when you look on the back, when you're standing here at the bottom, it has a really wide stance. And it's lowered for, you know, an SUV, SAV, but not super low that you're kind of worried about it. This also has a spare tire, so. Yeah, we can show them that. Go ahead. You want to kick it open? I think this, this, this might work. I'm going to try. <laughs> yes, let's hope. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Some trims, especially on the M car, some of them have carbon fiber. That comfort access feature doesn't always work down there. Mm -hmm. so, um, so you can see yeah. here the floor has been elevated a little bit because we do have performance non-run flats on here. You want to show them the spare real quick, Lauren? So you can see underneath here, obviously you do have a tire in this car if you need it. So uh, roadside assistance um, with courtesy towing is uh, for four years, unlimited miles, and it's to the nearest dealership, BMW dealership, no matter how far away. Now also the trunk lid has four different settings, so if that seems a little too high, it can drop about three more positions down closer in case you're parking in a low hanging garage um, or parking structure. And then you can see back here, they did give us the rear seat drops. So actually that's in the back. So in the new model, as we know, some of you that have had the previous gens, it was just there at the seat that you could do it. But now when you're back here, pull this, it'll drop the seats, makes it easy. All right, so what we'll do now, let's get Lauren. She's gonna kick it. Oh, there it goes. Perfect, so let's go ahead and get you in the driver's seat. Right. See that contrast stitching up front? Very nice. Breaks it up, gives it some nice attitude. Obviously all your basic controls are here. The windows, mirrors, rear hatch open and close, all that. And then you got your seat adjustment here, lumbar support, your side squeezers, your lateral up here. You can really get that nice and tight so when you're heading into the corners or on the track, you're not sliding all over the seat. And we've kept the protective paint, uh, tape here on the nice designed uh, wheel set that they've done on these. You know, typically in the past, you've had to add that to the car to give it some attitude. But obviously with the new M series, now they give you some really nice looking pedals. And your standard light controls are over here, but check out the steering wheel pulling over the red buttons from some of the M their other new M cars. You want to explain this on this side over here, Lauren? Oh, here we actually have adaptive cruise control, which, I mean, kind of defeats the point of having an M car, really. But basically, uh, excuse me, active cruise control, so it maintains the distance between yourself and the other car. You have your M settings here, so basically when you customize with the buttons down here, you can hold them and uh, set them in place, like I said, if you're efficient and your sport settings here. We have the standard, you know, different interchangeable things that pretty much come on every car. So this changes the media, this is the volume, making phone calls and then voice command for either CarPlay or whatever, um, the, the car. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your, uh, they've moved the uh, heated steering wheel button uh, mm -hmm. to the center bottom part of the steering yep. wheel. And then let's see, will the um, heads up display, yep, there it is flashing. There it is, yeah. So you can, you can uh, access a lot of your features up there, your mm -hmm. phone history, so you can call people back. Right. Um, obviously from, you know, from your phone, navigation, entertainment settings, this one does have the Harman Kardon surround sound system on it. All right, I'm going to jump in on the other side. Oh, but let's show them that door seal too. Very nice. All right, let's get another rev time. Very nice. All right, let's jump inside and look at some of the electronics and some of the settings. 
Also, definitely let you guys know, I, you know, I work at Rusnak BMW. So, you, if you live in the state of California and you're considering a BMW, new or used, yeah, please reach out. My email, obviously, scottbmwsmith at gmail.com. Or my work email, scottsmith at rusnackautogroup.com. Oh, yeah, and Lauren, where can we follow you at? I'm at BMW Lauren on Instagram. Awesome. Cool. So let's go over our iDrive 6. Yeah. Okay. I would like it. It's really usable. It's really easy. Um, BMW, I find, is to be user-friendly. Could be because I'm a... I, I love BMW. <laughs> and you deal with it day in yeah. and day out. But it's a touchscreen, which is great. Um, and you have all your features here. Um, we have... Six templates, it looks like. Yes. And then you can customize. How would you customize the order of the templates? So just hold it down and mm -hmm. then drag and drop. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you can just put it in any order you prefer because mm -hmm. your main screen has three of them. So if you hit yeah. the menu button, you can see that's your starting screen there. Now you do have a total of six, but you can adjust them. What we like too is that it shows you what you were doing in that area here on the template. So where you were last, if you got notifications, but even in the front one here, like what you're listening to. So it's not like you have yeah. to go into that area to see what's going on. We put your history there. The nav is really nice. It's super easy to use. I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, for people that are, you know, very familiar, they have Apple, you can have your uh, Google Maps and Apple CarPlay come up here, but I would highly uh, recommend to use the BMW navigation. It's very easy. And then if you want to use the voice command for the BMW navigation, it's a quick press, which also accesses other, you know, uh, voice commands for the car. Or very natural for the car. And very natural yeah, speaking and very stuff easy. now. Very easy. Picks it up very easily. Now, one thing we do want to mention about the Apple CarPlay is that um, on a new vehicle, um, it's going to be, <laughs> it loves seeing our fingers, huh? Um, it's going to be included for 12 months. After that, it's a service-based feature, so it's $80 a year currently right now. That's super cheap. <laughs> so, yeah, especially with the majority of our clients leasing these cars for three years compared to what it used to be was 300 bucks. Yeah, on the uh, 2018s, I think. So at least when yeah. you're looking at the leasing aspect. And also, we always ask people to maybe take a take you know take a month and try out our software it's very easy smooth mm -hmm. very uh, very connectable with all the phones that are out there also can you tell us about the button there so we have um, intelligent safety that's basically the green light is telling you that uh, they're all on and working but you can customize the sensitivity um, frontal collision lane departure and blind spot um, I find that uh, people have a very bad habit of not using your turn signal or <laughs> so in this case I would probably turn off the steering intervention if you are not somebody that uses a turn signal as with many BMW drivers I think mm -hmm. um, but early and always and reduced is basically the sensitivity of any particular feature you know so early is like greater distance and it's safer but I mean mm -hmm. um, you know, it's meant to be driven hard, so you can probably put all those on reduced or late. So. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, just turn them off when you're on the track. Here's the MSRP on this car. We're pulling out the sticker. This way, I know with the tinted glass, it's been hard to read, especially with my camera having an attitude. So let's go ahead. Here, I'll grab it real quick. Let's turn it, like because we're in that shadow. Okay, yeah, See if you here. can get it out where we can. Uh, here, I'll get it right here. <laughs> let's just put it right. Let me close the sun. No, we're okay because at least we can zoom in on it, but you can see it. Um, hold on, guys and ladies. Let's just get this thing so we can get it all in the sun for you. Okay, there you go. Now, I'm just going to scan down it real quick. Obviously, you guys can um, can pause at any time just so you can see some of the details on the MSRP of this car. And there's your suggested retail price, which is, what, $84,395. Yeah, so it's not a ton more than, per se, a high, nicely equipped X3 M40. I thought the X3 M40 was actually an amazing car already. And oh, it is, yeah. came out like it's an insane amount of power. <laughs> it doesn't drive oh, like yeah. an SAV. So there's our MSRP. Just wanted to give you some details just because I know the one on the window has always played havoc with my phone. Um, and definitely there's a lot of information on BMWUSA.com. Now you can custom build them there. Can you put that back in there, Lauren? Let's, uh, let's, show, them the, let's show them the space. You get some nice cargo. No, you know, really additional obstacles or anything in there. So plenty. Well, it's deep. This surprises yeah. me, actually. I'm very happy to see that it's still a USB and not a USB Type-C in there, which is... Mm. Great. <laughs> yeah. And then let's go over the buttons up here on the center console. 
So this transmission. shifter here, that's the um, M transmission, it's a ZF, it's 8 speed like I mentioned before. And I like this. this, this actually came out with the M5 that came out last year. That's great, you have your drive logic buttons here, then you have your um, customizable M settings here. So you have your engine timing, the stiffness of the ride, and then the stiffness of the steering wheel. This option actually gives you the option to quiet up your exhaust a little bit. So in the morning, cold start, you want to, you know, maybe not wake up your neighbors, you can turn that off. And then you've got just some of the other settings there, the auto hold, you can see electromechanical yep. parking brake, and then P for park, you can see. So it's a really cool design shifter that we have. Mm -hmm. And like you've got the wireless charging here, also a plug-in, mm -hmm. cup holders are easy to access, and obviously you can hide everything yep. if you need to. Now the central climate control system here obviously is dual zone, but you can see the heated seats um, here. We've also got the cooling seats. So very easy, simplified, not a million buttons. Obviously I've talked about them many of times, but the shortcut buttons that show up on the top of the screen, those can be multiple items. Yeah, they're so, not just limited to radio stations. You can also make not. them, you know, phone numbers in certain cases and uh, addresses and, you know, shortcuts of things in the car. Like for example, I had a client that always wanted to check their tire pressure because they lived in a very cold area so the light would pop on. I made a shortcut for her to the tire pressure menu where she can read it. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good to hear. So perfect. So yeah, mm -hmm. let's uh, jump out so Lauren can have a little fun taken off and then I'm going to jump back in for a little drive. But let's go ahead and adjust that seat because of the seating position. Hey, you taking off your high heel? Yeah. <laughs> Get that off. I know there's a lot of comments about me driving in high heels. This one has a pointy heel, so I'm just going to take it off. Yeah, that way it's a little more better control of that uh, of the uh, throttle. Let's oh, see it here. It's got yeah. a private, like a jet over here. Uh huh. So I'm just putting the seat down. We can get a better view when I jump in in the back. So that way we'll try a little different view for the driving. And she's got it set up in performance mode. nice snap <laughs> she'll come back and pick me up but yeah definitely one thing else I wanted to mention um, to all BMW lovers and people doing research definitely check out beamerpost.com great website a place you can you know you can interact with other BMW enthusiasts or just get a lot of answers to different things and it really keeps you up to date everything BMW so definitely check out beamerpost.com All right, I'm going to jump in the back here. All right, let's see how this works. Cool. Oh, and there's our rear camera, as you can see here. Yeah, it's a really nice, as you can see, wide view, high definition camera. Really nice to be able to use. And you got the overhead view there. And then, like, there's your front camera. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to take off? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, let me put on my seatbelt. <laughs> Just think safety first. Metal to the metal. <laughs> that is right. Okay, we are ready. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, we can hear the uh, exhaust here. Yeah. The exhaust noises, just so you know, are loudest between, like, I want to say 1500 to 3000 RPMs. But usually, when you're downshifting, you hear it a lot more. Okay. So, And then um, one thing to mention too is uh, you can always research the BMW X4M also. Um, different styling, different size. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's get this back up and we can see. Boy, you're throwing off my three axle gimbal oh, here with this G-Force. <laughs> thing doesn't even want to stay straight. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Of course, not to uh, exceed 5,000 RPMs for 1,200 miles. 
Yes, you will have that warning until you get that first man, uh, mandatory service done in 1,200 miles. So definitely do not pass that up. It's extremely important. You can void your warranty on your vehicle. And it, it has the warning from the day one. So definitely, please get that done. Definitely a lot of fun. Lauren's been out to the uh, thermal for the training track out there. That's another great place for clients to go and have some fun driving high performance BMWs is in Thermal, California, the BMW Performance Center. So definitely check out their website. They have classes, even for uh, new drivers. I think we also have classes for new drivers that go out there for defensive driving, getting them comfort comfortable behind the wheel. So yeah. Wow, this thing is tight. It's and amazing. It, I really, uh, like, I'm a sedan person. I love the X3 M40 just because it's super versatile. If I feel like driving sporty, I can. If I want to take it, like, off-road, I can. And this is just a whole other level. Like, the BMW has always been, you know, psycho. You can even take a 320 on the track. It's got yeah. the handbrake and everything. So, uh, but this is, this is comfortable, actually. And uh, I, I love driving it. It's insane. Oh, you're off the ground too. You're up higher, better visibility. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye, Lauren. Bye.